So here we are outside again and today I'm going to teach you about two different kinds of trees that often get mixed up. There's a poplar and there's a birch. So we will start off with a birch. You can see, you might remember a birch from like the nice white bark that you can peel off. Here it is looking a little bit flaky. So if you peel that off, you can use it to start a fire, but you have to be careful not to peel it all the way off the tree to kill the tree. Um, people used to use that birch bark to make canoes, while well, some people still do, or making different carrying buckets and stuff. The leaves are in this kind of almost a heart shape, and it's jagged around the edges, so it's not just a smooth edge. There's a bit, a little bit. This is a small one. There's bigger sizes too. The fresh growth you see here, there it goes from white, but then the stuff on the ends, those branches are almost a bit reddish. Here you'll see a little bit more. So like young ones often look pretty red. But that gets mixed up with a poplar often. Here's a young poplar. This is, there's a few different kinds of poplar. This one is an aspen, which is in a poplar family. Do you see the leaves are almost in that same hoot that's moving? It's called a quivering aspen because the leaves shake in the wind, I think. It's almost a heart-shaped leaf again, but the sides are less jagged and less harsh. And the bark is more gray. It's not pure white. I'll show you a different kind of poplar over here too. So this one has this shape of leaf. It smells pretty good in spring when the fresh buds are out. And beavers really like to eat the fresh branches of this. Do you see its bark is a bit more brownish and it's really bumpy. It's a bit different. There's another birch. Okay, now I will show you a tree. And I want you to think. Thinking about what we just said. Do, do you think it is a poplar or a birch? So look at this. I'll let you think for a little bit. Write a comment of what you think it is. Now, did you say birch? Because then you would be right. It has the pokey leaves. I didn't show you this before, but their flowers look kind of like that and the seeds will come out of there. It has the pure white bark that's flaky and peeling. I'll show you another one soon. What about this one? It does have pretty light colored bark with some spots in it like birch bark has. Has leaves in a similar shape. I'll let you think about it. I'll show you a better view of it all. This one's a big one. What do you think this is? If you said poplar, or if you wanted to even be more specific and say that it's an aspen kind of poplar, then you would be right. It has heart-shaped leaves, but they're smoother than a birch. The bark is more gray and it's not peeling anywhere. What do you think about this one? This one might be a little bit more tricky. I'll show you the different parts. This one is also a birch, but the bark up here looks very similar to a poplar. A similar color, but when you look down here, I didn't show you this part. It's peeling like that, and the leaves are still sharper than an, as or an alder is. Not an alder, an aspen. So, do you think you guys will be able to tell a poplar from a birch now in the future? I even get confused still. I used to always get really confused and now I know most of the time, but there's some that just are tricky and it's hard to tell. But if that happens, then remember these lessons. Remember the leaf shape. Remember to look at the jagged edges. Remember to look at the bark and I think you'll be able to figure it out. And if that doesn't work, then I just thought I heard somebody. Then um, you can look it up online too. There's a lot of people that know these things and I'm sure there's more differences too. 
But why would I bother to tell you this? Why would I bother to teach you th these differences? I think it's important to know how do, we, how do we find out what is true and what is right. With a poplar and a birch, there's a lot of people that have learned that and we've learned in the past and you can see the differences, right? So you need to learn them from somebody who knows. And you'll see in a lot of the videos, pretty much all of them, people will talk about the Bible and talk about things from the Bible. And that is where God spoke his truth and he tells us what is actually real, where the world came from, um, what is our job in the world. And we learn that in the Bible and that's why we teach there. To know about nature, we learn from people who know and we know, like, look at it and know the truth. And if you want to know something about your life or what you're supposed to do in life, what is right and what is wrong, then it's important to look at the Bible for that.